Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Chase of TechRave.net, and this video is a, the first in a series of videos covering the Chrome operating system. So, if you've just gotten your Chromebook and you're looking for a guide to get you started, kind of get you familiar with some of the ins and outs, uh, but not get overly technical and difficult, uh, this video is probably for you. So, I'm going to assume that you already have your Chromebook set up and you you have internet connectivity and maybe you're kind of searching on YouTube right now to, to, to get a guide or some tips and tricks on how to get this thing going and get the most out of your Chromebook so basically this is my I want to just kind of show you my setup here we have this probably looks a little bit different than yours I want to say first of all because I have this customized towards geared towards my needs and um, if yours doesn't look like this, don't worry. It's just basically these icons up here are links to various websites that I utilize. Uh, but don't worry if yours doesn't look like this. Um, it certainly probably will over time. But right now, we're just going to focus on some of the basics. So I'm going to minimize this and talk about what Chrome, the Chrome operating system actually is and does. So basically, this machine doesn't actually install and run software software like it does on a typical Windows or a Mac machine. All of your applications are, are web driven, so everything is that you use is, is stored on the web. So your applications are going to be, instead of downloaded, um, they're going to kind of work like a link, kind of like a website that you click on and, and it opens up a window in your Chrome browser. So if you're familiar with the Chrome browser on a, a Windows machine or a Mac machine, you're going to be probably pretty comfortable with this. Uh, <clears throat> so in order to get over to some of your applications, you're going to get familiar with this store bag that <clears throat> has everything you're going to need to uh, run your Chromebook. So you really want to get familiar with this guy. So what I recommend is that you, you come over here and you look, there's various categories over here, but you can kind of decide for yourself. They have recommended, popular. Um, I, I, I like to tell people to click on popular because uh, it's what people are already using. So you can kind of scroll down and see what they have here. You have Google Play. You have Outlook if you use that. Instagram. Evernote is one you might be familiar with. SoundCloud. And, and various apps that you may or not may or not be familiar with. There's a lot on here that you're not going to be too aware of. Spotify and Pandora you might be aware of. Um, so basically in here is uh, where you're going to find everything you need to download for your, your Chrome operating system. Now all of these either are an extension of Chrome or they're a standalone kind of website or they're kind of a mix between uh, a web app and a uh, program of course they're all programs but uh, certain ones you, they're kinda gonna sometimes they're gonna feel like they're just clickable links and I'll show you as we go down here to the bottom panel you click on the left most lower the lower hand most left icon and it brings you to all the apps you currently have now you can see in mine I have a lot of apps here already so I don't know what you're gonna have in here you're probably gonna have things like Google Drive YouTube Google News and uh, like I said a lot of these are, are just gonna open up a new tab in, in your uh, current web browser so if you click on YouTube here we are opened up to a, a page in YouTube so it, you it's not it, it's not something you necessarily would have to download anyway but if you have it here you'll have a quick icon link uh, headed towards what you need so and other things like Google Docs is gonna function more like a program so you open up the Google Docs which should be already packaged in there and this is gonna function like a Microsoft Word document or uh, a LibreOffice document if you're familiar with that so this is where it kinda uh, blurs the line between programs and uh, web apps and that, all that sort of stuff that you don't really need to worry about because you're not really downloading anything you're not 
installing anything. This is just run on Google servers and it's free for you to utilize. So I'll just type a few things here and you're going to notice up here, right here, it says all changes saved in Drive. So everything you type and do in Google Drive and Google Docs system, uh, it's going to save automatically in your Google Drive. So that leads me to the the storage on the computer on your Chromebook it is a little bit different than again your Mac or Windows machines. Um, it, it both you can you can download files and store them on your hard disk just like you would normally, uh, but you can also utilize Google Drive. So Google Drive is think about think of Google Drive as your hard drive but in a different space. I'm going to click on this to open up Google Drive. And as you can see, I have several folders and things on here. Files that I use across different machines, different uh, uh, signed into the same Chrome web browser, but just on a different machine. And that's one of the great parts about Google Drive. So if you just bought your new uh, Chrome Chromebook, you, uh, you'll you have, I think it's 100 gigabytes of free storage. So basically, if you want to save a file, if you write something, or you, you want to save a picture in your drive, you'll be able to access that on, on any Chrome web browser that you're signed into. So if you have a Windows 8 machine or a Mac machine um, that's running Google Chrome, the web browser, uh, you'll be able to access these files and you can also access Drive and other computers as a, a standalone download so you can actually put it the Drive folder on your computer so that it can fetch files in your Google Drive. Now you can also save files just like you normally would um, and that's going to go in your there's gonna be a file folder kind of icon um, if you don't have yours yet, that's okay. We'll, uh, as soon as you try to save something, it will bring up this screen. And it'll ask you if you want to save in Google Drive, which we just talked about, or your downloads. Now, the downloads is stored on your high drive, just like it, it would on you know, a regular PC. <clears throat> um, now, I think uh, Chromebooks don't have a lot of, of hard drive storage, so it's, I, think, I think mine is about 16 gigabytes or so. Uh, maybe a little bit less than that, but um, uh, as you can see here, it kind of functions just like a regular Windows machine or a Mac machine or a Linux machine, whichever you prefer. So we have, I have a few photos in here. This one's a screenshot, and I just want to show you something real quick. Now within this function, well, I don't have the I don't have the. Uh, I was going to show you how to uh, crop and edit photos. You can edit photos right on the computer as you saved your files. Uh, there's a little crop, uh, crop and edit buttons on the lower right hand side. Uh, I'm going to tell you that I can't see it because um, I have the Screencastify window open down here. So I don't know if you can't. You probably can't see that because you're. You can see me in the lower corner. But I won't be able to show you that right now, but that's okay because we can just move along here. And I'm going to talk about uh, printing. Uh, printing is a little bit different. Uh, usually, in most cases, you have to have what is known as cloud print set up. So if you have a cloud print ready printer, um, you'll be able to easily connect to it and print from anywhere wirelessly. Uh, a lot of people don't have a cloud print print ready printer yet um, and I actually don't at home but there are uh, ways that you can still connect to it and, and we'll show you that in a later tutorial uh, but for now we'll, we'll skip that because this is again an introductory uh, type of video and we don't want to get in too hardcore um, and if you're worried about updates you know if you have if you're familiar you're more familiar with Windows machines and you're from you know you have to uh, it, download the updates and wait and install or you have them auto installing or whatever in Chrome OS they just auto update and if you click here in the lower right this task panel um, it will actually tell you 
um, updates are ready and then you basically all you have to do is restart the computer and the updates will just happen for you so you really it's nothing you have to worry about um, very google-esque way of doing things very incremental changes the last update i think was um, it added a new uh, bunch of wallpapers so that's you're kind of you're looking at one right now the uh, these aerial wallpapers was was bundled in the last update in which they do security stuff in there too but they'll also throw in some nice easter eggs for us so with that let's talk about the wallpapers you can certainly change the wallpaper if you want all you do is you, you double click on the desktop it's not a right click so you don't have a right click um, you use two fingers to click and you hit set wallpaper on one click and it brings you up to all these now I have it set on surprise me this checkbox here because I like to just be surprised every day when I have a new wallpaper but if you'd like to choose your own you can unclick that and now you see you have all these wallpapers to choose from I like to select the moist statues a lot of times so let's go and click on that one and we'll just exit out of here you can of course customize you can have a custom background if you want or you could have just plain colors a lot of people like to just utilize the plain colors so we're gonna keep the moist statues here and now I'd like to go back to the the web browser which this is where you're gonna spend most of your time on Chrome OS so uh, just exit out some of these and we're gonna cover a few keyboard shortcuts uh, these are not necessary or anything like that but I just like to uh, give you a little bit more than uh, just your basics uh, give you a little bit more to think about and try to figure out as you're going along and as you go on to the next uh, series of tutorials because these keyboard shortcuts uh, really can help you maximize your productivity levels so in order to open a new tab usually you just press one of these buttons here and it opens up a new tab and the way you type uh, but what I like to do is you hit the keys control and tab oh wait that's not right Oh, Control T. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Control T opens a new tab. And Control W closes the tab. So you kind of, if you want, you can do it on yours. Just hit Control and then T, and that opens up a new tab. Okay, and Control N. That'll open up a new window for you. So if you just need a fresh start, a clean slate, you just hit Control N, and it'll open up a window for you back to our main screen now uh, if you hit control shift n that opens up a new incognito window now this is basically so it what it really does is it doesn't keep track of where you are going so uh, this this isn't useful on the other end for other people trying to see what you're doing but on on your computer if you type in a website here it does not get saved in the uh, the history so if you need to do anything in private, this is what you do, and that's Control Shift N. And Control Shift Q twice. Uh, so you'd hit Control Shift Q. Don't do this because this is going to sign you out of your computer. Um, but uh, it's kind of useful if you just need a quick sign out. You just hit Control Shift and then Q Q, and that'll sign you right out, right back to your login screen. And um, so let's open up another tab, Control T. Now, um, you're probably wondering, okay, we got a new tab open, and we have to click this X to close it. Well, how do we close it? Well, we just hit Control W, and the, the, the tab is gone. Control T, Control W. Now, you can open up a lot of tabs here. You can hit Control T, Control T, Control T, Control T, and it opens up a bunch of tabs. So if you need, if you're a multitasker, like most people are, you're going to open up lots of tabs. And now, and I should have left the tabs open, so let's open up a few more. Now you can kind of cycle your way through these tabs really quickly, and this is this is what makes it uh, makes your productivity level soar. Uh, you hit 
control tab is what I was hitting to begin with. Now this cycles in between tabs. Okay, so instead of reaching, so you're typing, you're doing stuff, you're, you know, doing work and stuff, you're researching, doing whatever, and but you need to quickly switch between tabs. Instead of reaching for your mouse and clicking individually like this, uh, you can just hit control tab and it just cycles over. So that's, oh, that's, believe it or not, that's, well, it takes a lot less time once you start getting into these keyboard shortcuts. It takes a lot less time uh, to actually do stuff when you're when you're not moving quite as far. Each reach to that mouse and back to the keyboard it is time you could be spending actually on it. And it really does add up after a while. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for our beginner's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stay tuned. We're going to have a whole series of tutorials. It's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to cover everything. This is just kind of to wet your whistle a little bit and get you kind of moving get you kind of comfortable uh, with this because uh, the reason that i started the channel and the reason you know that i wanted to start doing everything chrome is because you can really 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 get a lot done in a very little amount of time with these or you can use it purely for entertainment so i, I would just really like to cover the ins and outs for you so you know i i can share my knowledge and and, and so i can can allow you to be product product produce you know whatever allow you to become the master a chromebook master is what we're trying to go for here uh so uh if you haven't please subscribe to the channel uh watch the acer c720 chromebook review that we that was our first very first video so this is all brand new and uh come back for more so that's it uh 